All right, welcome back, Percy's peeps. It is Tuesday, and you found us again. I thank you. Appreciate this. So this week, I thought it'd be fun to kind of talk about uh, some fasteners. Uh, we have some different types of screws, some structural screws, some lag bolts, and kind of why things are transitioning from people using lag bolts to more uh, structural screws. So basically, get your regular lag bolt. This one happens to be galvanized, so it's decent for outdoor use. Um, the, the challenge with these is, is they break easy. It's kind of like a grade three bolt. Your standard bolt's a grade five bolt, like automotive type bolt. This is a grade three bolt, so it breaks easy. Same thing with carriage screws. They're lightweight, they don't really take abuse. So when you're trying to attach two boards together and you're screwing this in, they tend to break. And that's frustrating, especially when you don't want to have 100 holes for no reason. So a lot of things are transitioning to something more like this. And I don't know how out of focus this is because I can't see anything, but um, these are a structural screw. And one of the advantages of these is they're good for pressure treated. They're good for cedar, you know, your typical outdoor type things. Um, this has a nice end on it. So when it's sunk into the wood and it's finished, it looks like a finished material. It's just appealing. Um, and we have another type. A lot of people will use these for like landscaping instead of using uh, rebar or a big spike. You can use this. They don't pull out as easy and they're structural sc uh, screws so they don't break like a regular screw would. Uh, they're actually a, I got a note here in front of me and I don't know where I put it as far as that goes. They're a high quality steel it says. So yeah. So they're strong, sturdy, and reliable, which is nice. And the end of them has a cut point, so they start easier. If you look at how, and they're thinner, so they're less likely to break, you know, crack the wood when you're trying to apply it. You can see a uh, fairly decent amount of difference between the two. And you can get some that are wicked long. So if you got some big wood you're trying to put together, we can do that. We got you covered. That also rolls into um, exterior screws as far as, um, I use these for everything. Uh, these are my favorite screws. They're a good price point. Matter of fact, um, you can compare these to like a GRK screw. They come in the same Tupperware. These currently in my store are $30 cheaper than the GRKs. So I really like these. These come with a bit in each box. So you have the right size bit. You know, you can never find a bit when you need one. They're always hiding on you. And they also come in a trim screw as well. So little tiny head on that. So when you're putting it in, you don't have the big head exposed and you know, just a little bit neater and tighter looking. Um, these also, these are more like a decking style screw. Um, they have the countersink blades. Uh, they have the same idea, a twist shank so it doesn't split the wood and um, you don't have to pre-drill with these because the way the, sh the threads are shaped and the end is shaped, um, they start easier. So it's way more convenient and they have the hex head on them instead of a regular Phillips head so they don't slip as easily. That alone makes it worth it because it's a pain. Phillips heads are a pain. So these work so well. So yeah, that's some of the advantage of these. Um, we also have it in a truss tight screw. If you're putting trusses into metal, we offer that. Um, that's pretty much covering some of the basics on that. Yeah, replaces spikes and rebar. Oh, it has a ceramic finish. So it's a, you know, good, rugged, weatherproof finish. So yeah, that's kind of the, uh, the gist on that this week. Kind of a quick one but good information nonetheless. Um, if you buy a whole box, these would come with a bit individually. They don't come with a bit, but we know what size bit you need when you come in based on the size screw that you're buying. So that kind of narrows it down a little bit. There's still more, don't leave yet. Got some uh, interesting facts about screws on top of that. So I'm gonna uh, hand the camera and microphone over and we'll get that information thrown at you. Don't mix fine and coarse threads. 
Pirates. Many of the workmen tools we are using today were invented during Roman age. The first screw factory was a financial failure. Gonna move on to some random items that you may not know we have. I'm filming this in the winter time, so going with some yak tracks. We haven't had a lot of snow around here, but we have had some ice and um, these are great. They slide right on your shoes. I have different sizes, different types. This is what they call the Pro. I also have the Diamond Grip in various sizes. Uh, definitely worth the investment as opposed to having a broken neck. That gets expensive. And we don't want that. So yeah, handy things that you may not know we have and we have them. So that's, uh, that's kind of it for this week's. Appreciate you taking the time if it's morning or evening or afternoon or night or whatever it is. Appreciate you taking a couple seconds to stop by and listen to me ramble again. Uh, if you don't get anything else out of this, hopefully you get a nice smile, kind of make your day a little bit better. I have had some good feedback from people in person. Also, we appreciate it when people comment down below. More of you are doing that and it's awesome to see. So I appreciate that. And if you have any ideas of things that you want me to cover, uh, I will do my best to do that for you. So come up with some ideas, put them down below. We'll do what we can to, to accommodate those as best we can. And again, thank you very much. We'll see you next Tuesday.